alongside us and we get in the conversation, I always let them know I'm a man of God. He said, why do you do that all the time? Now, he's a pastor too. Why do you do that all the time? I said, because I want them to know. You never know who is waiting to hear what God has put in your mouth. What God has deposited on your heart. You don't know. Amen, somebody. That was years ago. Now, every time a boat pull up, he beats me. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, yeah, yeah, get a conversation. Now I'm a pastor, da 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 da. I said, Oh, you've changed. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. Now the angry, the angry Apostle Paul. Why? Why are they so angry? It's because the word of God has been enjoyed by many because God used you. Hallelujah. Y'all didn't hear me. Thank you, Lord. The word of God has been enjoyed by many because God has used you. Hallelujah. It came to you and left you and went to somebody and left them and went to somebody else. You have no idea of what you have done for the Lord. Amen. Because you're not there to see everything, hear everything. Amen. See, the natural man and the natural human uh, man and woman's mind is limited. But the word of God is unlimited. Amen. Give God praise. Hallelujah. It's meaningless. It qualifies. It fulfills. Hallelujah. It's ordained of God. That's what you got to understand. Yes. I tell my deacons all the time, remember, you are an ordained. I tell the minister all the time, you are an ordained person. Ordained people walk in the authority of the Lord. Amen. Lord. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Yes. They're not average, ordinary people. They've oh. been ordained. They've had hands laid on. They've been prayed oh. for. They've been spoken. Yes. And more so, they've been called by God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And can nobody demote whom God has promoted. You have been called by God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory. The pastor only saw it. The pastor only acknowledged. The pastor only carried out what God has ordained. Give God praise, somebody. Give God praise. You know you've been ordained by God. You stand against the wiles of the devil. Thank you. You know you've been ordained by God. You, you stand against any opposition. Because God fights the battles of those whom he has called. That's why the Bible tells you to walk worthy of your calling. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. Somebody need to rise up and rebuke the devourer. Hallelujah. Thank you. Because the opposition, you sit down or you quibble or you shrivel up like a strip. But oh, somebody, you've been ordained by God. And in the name of Jesus Christ, you stand up and give God the glory. I don't care if it is a family member. And I don't care if it is. They're talking about this is my territory. Don't nothing belong to you. We're only stewards. God lends us what we have. You're going to leave that house. You're going to leave that car. You're going to leave what you call your community. You're going to leave everything. Right. Amen, somebody. Amen. If it belongs to you, take it with you when you leave. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know ye the truth and let the truth set you free, somebody. This is our community. They mad. They upset. Why? Because what they should be doing, they're not doing. That's why God called women. Because men are on their testosterone and their arrogance and pride. God used a woman. You don't use a woman, you use a dog. God use a donkey. Amen, somebody. Amen. The word of God cannot be stopped by you, me, or anybody else, somebody. Give God glory. Amen. Said the word went out and it spread it. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Why is it spread? So I told y'all last week, good news travel faster than bad news. Amen. People talk about bad news. But here it says it went out all over. Glory to God. Amen. Asia Minor, amen, all over Jerusalem, all over the Middle East. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. That Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And when he died on that cross, the Calvary cross, he got up early Sunday morning and rose from the dead and said, hold to power and many others. He said, touch me not, for I have not sent it unto my Father. And then when he went to heaven and got crowned, glory to God by God, and God said to his son, well done, my good and faithful servant. Hey, you've been faithful over a few things, glory to God. I will make you ruler over everything.
thing. He said that to every human being that came out to the faith of the yes. Lord Jesus Christ. And when we came up to that faith and we bowed our knees and we confessed with our mouth that Jesus is the son of the living God. Jesus came back to the earth, glory to God, and told Peter and told many of them, here I am. And John, don't get bad at John because he said, I want to put my hand in the holes where he will pierce because some people walk by faith and they don't need to see. And the Lord came back and told him, here am I. Go ahead on and do whatever it takes for you to rise and give God the glory. He said, but blessed are they who have not seen and yet believe. That's some people in here right now don't need to see. They believe in what the word of God says. And there are others sitting in here need to see. Whether you need to see or don't need to see. We lock arms this morning together and we say glory to God. We have received eternal life. He got up out of that grave and he declared all power is in my hands for those who believe and have not seen. And the power is still for those who need to see. We walk together. Glory to God. We pray together. We confess together. We believe together. We 